Hi guys, I'm Tanya with Michaels and it's time to do another Kids Club Crochet Project. I'm so glad that you joined us. This time our project is going to be a rainbow. Isn't this adorable? Now I chose some fun colors that I really like, but I'm excited that you have scraps of yarn. You've been working on a lot of projects. So what would you choose as your four colors? It's going to be exciting. I can't wait for us to dig in and start crocheting this project together. So let's head over and make the project. All right, so let's get started. But first, let's talk about our supplies that we'll need for this project. So we're going to need uh, our crochet hook. And I've been using this, this one that is a J and then it says 10 and it says six millimeters. This is the one I've been using for a lot of our projects. If you go back and look at our other projects, you'll see this specific needle. It's one of my favorites. It makes a really nice size loop. I've got a pair of scissors and I've got my colors of yarn. Now, for my project, I've chosen pink, yellow, like a lime or a lemon green, yellow green, and a turquoise, but this is your project. So what colors will you choose? You'll want four, four colors. So I've got my little scrap of pink, I've got my scrap of yellow, my ball of green there, and a scrap of turquoise. Again, a lot of our projects that we do are what I call scrap busters. They're those little pieces of yarn maybe that we have at the end of a project and you know, just a ball's worth will do a lot of the projects that we do here in Kids Club Crochet. So let's get started by, we're gonna make that first, first thing we do, which is putting that loop, that slip stitch, not slip stitch, the, the first knot that we put on. And if you have not done this before, and you're wondering, how in the world do I do this, Tanya? I don't know how to do this knot. Would you go back to our first video? In the first video, we go over this and we also talk about that chain stitch and then each video we talk about other stitches. This video talks about a lot of them. We're using a lot of stitches. So if you've missed anything, please go ahead, stop the video, go back and watch those other projects, learn the stitches and then come back and join us, okay? All right, so for this one, I wanna leave a long tail because you'll see on mine, I left a nice tassel and tail on, these, on this rainbow. So I'm gonna leave a long tail, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started by getting my loop on the hook. There we go. Give me some movement here. There we go, my yarn was getting a little tight. There we go, loosened it up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do seven chains. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I'm gonna do one more, which is my turning chain. So that one is my turning chain. What does that mean? It means at that point, I'm gonna turn my project where I will start going back the other way to crochet into it. And I'm actually gonna crochet in the humps. So if you see these humps right here on the back side, that's where I'm gonna crochet into. So this first hump, I'm gonna do a single crochet. So I'm just gonna put my needle in there and pull through. And let's go again with the next one. So we're gonna end up with seven single crochets. This is my third one. And this will be four. Five. Six is right here. There we go. And last one is seven. Sometimes it's a little hard, so I use my thumb to kind of push that yarn over. And that is the end of my row one, which was seven single crochets. So now I'm gonna pull out a long tail here, 
and I'm going to go ahead and snip it. And I'm done with my pink for right now. So I'm gonna set this pink aside. We'll come back to it later. So I've got all my pink here crocheted and I've got this tail. I'm gonna go ahead and tie these two tails together so they don't come undone. A lot of times in crochet, we don't tie knots, but this is a decorative project and it's okay to tie knots. It's not something you're gonna wear or, um, you know, maybe a blanket where you wouldn't want that knot because it wouldn't feel comfortable on you. All right, so this is what my project looks like so far. And now I'm gonna pick up my next color. My next color for me is yellow. So here's my yellow. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna get myself all ready. And this yellow ball is just gonna roll all around. So it's gonna be a game of where the ball is gonna roll during our project today. So long tail again. And this time, I'm gonna go in this very first stitch, and what I need to do, so I'm going under both of those loops of the V, I'm gonna pull my yarn through, and this is me joining the yarn into my project. So let's go ahead, we're gonna crochet, or do three chain stitch. One, two, and three. It's my three chain stitches. Now from here, I wanna do a double crochet and I'm going to end up doing two in this very same stitch. Now if you have uh, did our project last time or even the one before we talked about increasing. Here's my second double crochet in this same stitch and whenever you crochet more than one stitch, you know a crochet stitch into the same space, you are doing what's called increasing. That's what's gonna cause our project to start curving, is this increase. So when we did this first chain three, we are counting it like a double crochet. So we're gonna count it one, two, three. We're gonna do the same thing all the way across, and we're gonna do three double crochets in each one of these stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. There's my third one. Now, if you find that you're having a problem with tension, maybe these holes are too tight and you're not able to get into them. I have found that just roll your shoulders back, relax, take a deep breath, loosen up how you're holding. If you're holding your needle with a, your crochet hook with a really, really tight hand, that's gonna come out in your crochet and it's gonna be really, really tight. So if you'll see, I'm just holding it real loosely. So do some different techniques. Maybe take a step away from your project for a moment and go do something like go run around uh, in the backyard if you have a backyard or um, walk around, do something just to kind of shake off that stress that's causing you to be a bit tight in your crocheting. Sometimes even it's a mindset. It's like we're thinking we have to do this perfectly. And so we get so caught up in doing it perfectly that we get real tense and tight with our project. So think today we're thinking rainbow thoughts. So we're thinking thoughts of happy clouds and rainbows and not perfection. It's gonna be okay. If you miss a stitch, the great thing about crochet is you can always come back and undo that stitch. I've undone a lot of projects before. I've done, I've done that on here before with you guys. I had to pull things out and start again. That's okay. So we're nearing the end here. And if you are thinking, uh, Tanya, you're going too fast. I can't keep up. You can stop the video pause it and come back when you feel like you're caught up. You can change the speed of the video, or if you need to walk away for a little bit, pause, come back, it'll be here for you. All right, so I'm nearing the end of my yellow, this row, and there I've got my three crochets, in, uh, three double crochets in each one. I'm gonna pull out a really long tail again, 
and I'm going to snip this and pull this out. Now this time I don't have another yellow to tie into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out just a little bit there and I'm going to make a knot into this. And I think a single knot will be just fine to hold that in place. Okay, so we've got our pink and we've got our yellow. Now it's time to start with our green or with your third color, whatever color you've chosen. And I'm gonna start again over here on the far right hand side. So this project, I'm not ending and then flipping and going back over all the time when I change colors. I start at this, the right hand side again and go around. So I'm leaving a long tail and we're going to go into the very top of this first chain three. And I'm, this is an interesting stitch because I'm going to try to go right under this V but there's another yarn, right? Piece of yarn right there, a little hump. I'm gonna try not to go into that one. So it's a little tricky, but you can do this. There it is. And then I'll pull it through. That went a little tight. There we go, we got it. Pull out my tail. So now I have my yarn in my project and it's time to start crocheting the next round. So this next round is going to be, um, we're gonna do some chains. And uh, I'm just checking my pattern here. Yep, this is going to be, uh, I've gotta get my yarn on my hook. Oh, you know what? I think I just did myself a, I don't know, a not good favor. Let me see if I can try to Get this right. I'm gonna have to undo that, y'all. You know, if you ever get in a habit of doing something a certain way, like I'm in the habit of always doing this and to get started, and then I went to try to, to do it after I'd put my yarn in and it didn't work for me, and that was okay. I just go back to what I know. And what I know is putting my yarn on first and then putting the yarn into the project. Whatever works for you guys, okay? All right, so here we've got the yarn, we've got it attached. We're gonna do some chain stitches. So I'm just gonna pull that loop through, make a first chain. I'm gonna do a second chain and a third chain. So chain three. And now I'm going to skip a stitch. Now this is gonna make these little loops right here that you see, the little holes in the project. So I will skip this stitch right here and then I'm gonna single crochet into this stitch. I'm gonna chain now, chain um, two, and I'm going to skip the stitch, and I'm going to single crochet into the next one. We're just gonna keep doing this to the end. Chain two, skip, single crochet into the next one. Chain two, skip, single crochet, Chain two, skip, single crochet. All right, we've got the pattern down now. We're just gonna keep going to the end with a chain two, skip, and single crochet. And then I am at the end of my my row, that last single crochet. And this time I am going to go ahead and finish this off by doing a chain one, and then I'm gonna turn my project. I'm working in that same color, so I will turn it on this, on this time. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do next to really emphasize this this space that we have here. We're gonna do three single crochets in each one of these chain two spaces. So here I go, let me get myself all ready. 
and I'm gonna go into this space right here. See that opening that's created? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Oops, try that again. Oh, hang on. My hands are not playing nicely with me. There we go. Grab it, come under, single crochet. One and two and three. Now I'm gonna go to the next chain two space and I'm gonna do three single crochets. One, two, three. Into the next one, one, two, three, keep going all the way to the end. One, two, three, and then to the next one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, we're almost at the end. I'm sure you guys have chosen some fun colors. It's always neat to see what, what colors look good together. You never know, and you put them in a project and they look so fun together. All right, so I've reached the end. I've got my chain three, uh, my, ch my, excuse me, my single crochet, three of them in each chain two space. I'm gonna pull out a long tail, snip that off, and then pull out my yarn. I've got a long tail there. And it, this time I do have a, another green down here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie those together. And then it's time for our last color. And I've chosen my last color to be this turquoise. So let's get this turquoise ready and find my end. There it is. Oh, no. My yarn is coming all kinds of topsy-turvy on me. I'm gonna make it work. Here we go. Let's use this piece right here at this end. Okay, so I want you to see my yarn. I think this is so fun. So this yarn was from the inside of a skein. And so see how, how crinkly it is. It's almost, um, it's almost like it's been crimped with like a crimping iron or something. It looks just really fun. It's a very festive yarn. It's having a great time. Um, it's like, oh, I don't wanna be straight like the others and be all nice and smooth. I wanna have fun and be all curly cue. And so I just think it's a neat little texture that happens when, when yarn um, is from this inside of the skein. It's the little things, right? So let me get my yarn all kind of pulled out there where I don't have any uh, tension issues. That's another thing that can cause tension issues. If your yarn is too tight in the ball, then, ooh, that can cause some problems for us. All right, so I learned last time, what did I need to do first? I need to go ahead and get my loop on my hook. So let's do that with a long tail, nice long tail. And now I'm gonna connect it. Now I'm on the this front side of my project again. I'm gonna go down here to this very first stitch was, was a, a chain stitch and I'm gonna connect into my project. There we are, we're nice and connected. Now this is a puff stitch. Now let's look at it. Do you see how this puffs up? Well, we're gonna do a very fun combination of the double crochet where we're actually gonna do, we're gonna start like four double crochets and then we'll end them in one one pull through and that makes this puff. So let's see how that works, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna yarn over, then I'm going to insert my yarn in the next stitch, and I'm gonna pull through, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. So now I have two on my hook. I'm gonna keep going again, I'm gonna yarn over, go into that same stitch. This is the same stitch as I was just to, with this first one. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through all of them at once. And then I'm going to go to my next stitch and I'm going to single crochet. And when I do that, look at that, it makes a puff. Isn't that fun? So let's do it again. Um, well, actually I need to do another single. Let's do another single crochet here. Boom. So we're gonna do the puff stitch, then two single crochets. The puff stitch, two single crochets. So yarn over, go into my next stitch and pull through. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through two. That gives me two loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that again. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have four. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all four. And then I'm gonna to go to the next stitch and I'm gonna single crochet. And I'm going to do another single crochet in the next stitch. All right, see that puff is happening. Isn't that fun? All right, let's do some more here. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two. So what we're starting is the double crochet, we're just not finishing it. If I were to pull through again right here, that would finish a double crochet stitch, but I'm not pulling through just at this point. I'm gonna wait and do that at the end. So I'm gonna loop over, go into the same stitch, pull through two, yarn over, the same stitch, pull through two, and now I have four. My yarn is getting all goofy. There we go. And now let's pull through all four of these stitches. One, two, three, four. Single crochet again, and another single crochet. All right, so we're gonna do this puff stitch and then two single crochets all the way to the end, okay? yarn loosened up here. There we go. I did my puff. It's time to do two single crochets. One and two. And let's do another puff. Through all, two single crochets. Another puff. and two single crochets. We're a little over halfway through now. yarn keeps getting all tight on me. I did not pull the right thread, I don't think. That's okay. We didn't get there. Okay, so next is another puff. Okay. 
and then two single crochets. Another puff. If you spend time crocheting or working with yarn, you will find that yarn sometimes has a mind of its own and it likes to get all knotted up. Okay, we're working on that puff. I'm gonna start over because if you stop in the middle of a stitch, sometimes you kind of lose your place. I do for sure. So there we go. Let's start this puff stitch again. And then two single crochets. And one last puff stitch. And then I have one stitch left and I'm going to do one single crochet here at the end. All right, I'm going to pull out a nice long tail, snip that, and I'm going to pull it through. And since I don't have another blue or turquoise on this side to tie on to, I'm just going to tie a knot into this right here, this stitch right here. Now the last thing that we're going to do is actually create tassels. And you don't have to create tassels if you don't want to. If you want to end your project right here and you want to weave in your ends, you can do that. But I thought it would be fun to have tassels, so I created tassels on mine. And I'll show you how easy this can be to attach them to your project. So I'm going to start with um, let's start with this turquoise here, the outside edge, and I'm just going to take a piece and I'm going to make some loops. There we go. All right. So back and forth and back and forth is what I'll be doing. Let me try this other end. And if you have something that you want to wrap around to make this, you can. You can make this as full as you want to. I want to have, um, let's see, I want six strands in the end. So the reason I'm doing it this way is uh, going to help me get about the same length for all of them. And then I can also just make one snip at the end. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be enough. All right, let me gather up the tops of my little loops here. And I'm just going to put them all on my finger. Just gather in the tops. There we go. And then down here at the end, I'm going to snip my tail. And then I'm going to just snip my loops down here at the bottom. All right. I'm going to separate. Looks like I got one extra, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take and go in from the front, and I'm going to go in this hole. And I'm going to put this, these loops in there. Pull those through. And then I'm gonna gather up all these tails right here and pull them through this loop that I just made. I'm even going to take this guy that was part of my crocheting and I'm gonna stick it through that loop too. So it gets caught up in that. And then I'm gonna pull this tight and then I have my tassel. So you're going to do a tassel like that for each one. I'll do it one more time on the turquoise side. I'm going to go through the front and I'm just going to find a, a place
place here at the end, there's a loop I can go into. I'm gonna go into that. My yarn there, I've got my loop, and I'm gonna take my tails, thread it through there. I'm even gonna grab this piece from my crocheting, and I'm gonna pull them all through, and then I'm just gonna tighten it. So you're gonna do that all the way across with each of your colors. And in the end, you're gonna end up with tassels on each one of your colors. I chose to cut mine, I'm gonna show you here at the bottom, at like an angle, but you can cut them across or you can cut them zigzag or however you want it to be. But that is our rainbow project, you guys. Thank you so much for joining with me in making this. I hope you have fun spreading joy and rainbows everywhere you go.